Are the elites working on creating an artificial god? I think it's going to be a great thing, but I think it's not going to be all a great thing. Artificial intelligence is nothing but digital brains inside large computers. That's what artificial intelligence is. Every single interesting AI that you've seen is based on this idea. Is President Biden worried that artificial intelligence could become self-aware? The movie The Creator recently came out, an interesting film that explores what would happen if humanity started a war against artificial intelligence. Not necessarily an uncommon topic, yet this movie's premise freakishly resembles our reality. For generations, humanity has been in search of this theoretical key that unlocks the door of reality. From complex mathematical equations to deep philosophical ideas, we have tried to decipher the enigma of our existence with science. And now we have discovered methods to create new artificial intelligence. It is a new uncharted territory, the generation of digital entities that can anticipate what we are thinking and capable of reasoning and proposing solutions to many of our problems. This artificial general intelligence, or digital god, is the holy grail for numerous global elite groups. They are in the stages of materializing this digital being, an artificial intelligence entity that rivals human intelligence, that can self-improve and unravel the mysteries of our world. I think there's a real moment of fear, which is like, is this a tool we have built or a creature we have built? What is, what is that gonna mean? Like four times now in the history of OpenAI, the, the most recent time was just in the last couple of weeks. I've gotten to be in the room um, when we sort of like push the front, the sort of the veil of ignorance back and the frontier of discovery forward. And getting to do that is like the professional honor of a lifetime. Today we are going to travel outside the matrix and closely examine the phenomenon of artificial intelligence. Why? Because the creator doesn't feel like a science fiction film. It feels more like a documentary from the future, warning us of the struggles we are going to inevitably face. Of the real. The creator depicts a world in which artificial intelligence has been banned after one of them got out of control and launched a nuclear attack against the United States. The film portrays artificial intelligence as victims. It shows us that the creators of these super intelligences are trying to manufacture the ultimate weapon against humanity. This weapon is an artificial being that looks like a girl, endowed with the ability to take control of humanity's most powerful ship. The creation of this superintelligence transcends mere science fiction. Reality is much darker and more disturbing. Right now, there are numerous labs around the world working to bring this super artificial brain or entity to life. They want to create a digital god, an omnipotent computer-generated creature that can solve all of our mortal dilemmas. So what is this digital god? And why are these crazed elite groups working so hard on its creation? First, let me tell you about the concept of artificial general intelligence or AGI. Defining artificial general intelligence is mental gymnastics. In essence, it is a form of artificial intelligence capable of surpassing us humans in various fields. Rather, it is mathematics, rationality, logistics, or our ability to analyze multiple scientific complexities and reach definitive conclusions that no human would think of. And this is only the start. In theory, this artificial intelligence would surpass humans in all aspects, and it would also be able to self-improve. At that point, this digital entity would transform into an oracle, so to speak. With the ability to self-improve itself, it is unpredictable the magnitude of its evolutionary progression. It could go from being a highly intelligent computer program to becoming a digital entity capable of altering reality at will. This is not science fiction, people. It is not the same to create something like ChatGPT as to create a superintelligence capable of modifying the very foundation of reality. Take, for example, OpenAI the company that created the famous ChatGPT. After growing in popularity, they were acquired by Microsoft. Now they are in competition with other research labs to create an AGI. This is no secret or speculation. Because AI and AGI is really the only area of the economy where there is a lot of excitement, a lot of investment, everyone is working on it. There's a huge number of labs in the world trying to build the same thing then it will become clear just how dramatic 
incredible and almost fantastical AGI is going to be and how much trepidation is appropriate. And what I claim will happen is that people will start to act in unprecedentedly collaborative way out of their own self-interest. On OpenAI's website, you can find a section titled Planning for AGI and the Beyond. The letter written by Sam Altman, the CEO of the company that created ChatGPT, sheds light on their intentions and prospects. Quote, Our mission is to ensure that general artificial intelligence, AI systems that are generally smarter than humans, benefit all of humanity. If AGI is successfully created, this technology could help us elevate humanity by increasing abundance, turbocharging the global economy, and aiding in the discovery of new scientific knowledge that changes the limits of possibility. AGI has the potential to give everyone incredible new capabilities. We can imagine a world where all of us have access to help with almost any cognitive task, providing a great force multiplier for human ingenuity and creativity. On the other hand, AGI would also come with serious risks of misuse drastic accidents, and societal disruption. Because the upside of AGI is so great, we do not believe it is possible or desirable for society to stop its development forever. Instead, society and the developers of AGI have to figure out how to get it right." End quote. Now what does all of this mean? I wasn't exaggerating when I said that the elites are racing to see who can create this digital god first. The goal of these groups is to forge the most powerful digital entities ever created. Right now, ChatGPT can write essays and solve mathematical and logistical problems. And every passing day, these labs continue to feed their language models with new information in their continued pursuit of creating the AGI. What is the ultimate goal? Within these tech circles, the philosophy of transhumanism is very prominent. It is believed that eventually a fusion between humans and artificial intelligence will happen. And when it does, this new race will solve all of our economic, social, and cultural problems. Going back to the OpenAI website, the letter addresses possible future complications, including accidents and social disruptions. Job loss is just one of the many concerns. A digital security guard would be much smarter and cheaper than a human security guard. This article gets pretty apocalyptic and pessimistic. It delves into the dangers associated with the creation of these digital entities. It is disturbing to know that this is not the plot summary of the movie The Creator. It's real. The creator is about the world after artificial intelligence went crazy, and many doomsday sayers are warning us about this. Maybe in a basement somewhere, a random dude is programming the code of the god of all artificial intelligence. And what is the government doing to address these concerns? Well, what do you think? A government representative was asked about the growing concerns and potential dangers of artificial intelligence. The answer to the question of our possible extinction was mockery and laughter. A don't worry, we know what we're doing response. There's an expert from the Machine Intelligence Research Institute who says that if there is not an indefinite pause on AI development, this is a quote, literally everyone on Earth will die. <laughs> Would you agree that does not sound good? <laughs> Your delivery, Peter, is quite, it's quite something. It sounds crazy, but is it? Uh, all I can say is that there's a comprehensive process in place. We put out a blueprint back in October, as you know. I don't have anything to share. Uh, we have seen the letter. We understand what their concerns are. Uh, again, a comprehensive process. We're going to let that, we'll let that flow. Is President Biden worried that artificial intelligence could become self-aware? Look, we are, again, there's a comprehensive process. Uh, we are taking this very seriously. We put our blueprint out uh, back in October. I just don't want to get ahead of our findings and what, that, uh, what that's going to look like. Uh, but it is a cohesive federal government approach to AI-related rela risks, as you just laid out in a very dramatic way. Uh, but clearly... Is there <laughs> anything trying... more dramatic I mean, you just read it. Literally in everyone that... on Earth will die. Pretty, pretty dramatic. Pretty dramatic. Um, <laughs> we're going to move on. But thank you, Peter. Thank you for the drama. Go ahead. Yet weeks later, we saw how most of the leading minds in artificial intelligence technology met with the President of the United States, pleading for the government to regulate this tech. But there is nothing to be scared about, isn't there? No matter how you look at it, we are living in historic moments in science. 
And now even big tech companies are scaring the smartest minds in the world with their new obsession to create something that is designed to be smarter than any of us. Supposedly the goal of these tech companies is to create a utopia, but they are dismissing, or worse, ignoring the philosophers and scientists who are warning them that what they are doing is creating the architect of the destruction of the human race. Yeah, I mean, we definitely will be able to create completely autonomous beings with their own goals. And it will be very important, especially as these beings become much smarter than humans. It's going to be important to, to have these beings, the goals of these beings be aligned with our goals. For all our sake, let's hope that these smart people are wrong and that this metaphorical tech measuring contest between these companies doesn't result in a tech Armageddon or techno -geddon. While we were doing research for this video, we came across some new interesting bits of information on recent events that have accelerated the creation of this supposed digital god. One such news was the surprising expulsion and subsequent return of Sam Altman. The New York Times, CNN, and Reuters reported on OpenAI creating an artificial intelligence that can surpass ChatGPT and that they might have achieved this dangerous goal. Reuters report said, quote, Ahead of OpenAI CEO Sam Altman's four days in exile, several staff researchers wrote a letter to the board of directors warning of a powerful artificial intelligence discovery that they said could threaten humanity. Two people familiar with the matter told Reuters. After being contacted by Reuters, OpenAI, which declined to comment, acknowledged in an internal message to staffers a project called QSTAR and a letter to the board before the weekend's events. One of the people said, an OpenAI spokesperson said that the message, sent by longtime executive Mira Muradi, alerted staff to certain media stories without commenting on their accuracy. Some at OpenAI believe QSTAR to be a breakthrough in the startup's search for what's known as the artificial general intelligence, one of the people told Reuters. OpenAI defines AGI as autonomous systems that surpass humans in most economically valuable tasks. End quote. Now you might be thinking that this has to be internet conspiracy theory. Maybe. But don't you think that is strange that this type of news is being published in official news outlets? At this point, it's undeniable, the eventual creation of AGI. It's pretty much out of our hands. It is now up to these digital entities if they want to follow our interests or if they choose to go down a different path. At best, let's hope that these digital entities do benefit our species and make life better, just as electricity and indoor plumbing did. On the other hand, a large percentage of scientists claim that we are still hundreds to thousands of years away from creating an entity smarter than us. That AGI is just science fiction, yet the pessimist within me has his doubts. Maybe these non-believers shouldn't dismiss our concerns. In the next few years, this apparent non-issue may redefine the boundaries of what it means to be a human and what it implies to share our world with beings more intelligent than us, that we created. But don't worry. I'm sure we can find common ground and live in a peaceful coexistence with these artificial intelligent creatures. I mean, it's not like we are an egocentric, greedy species with trust issues who are frequently trying to overcompensate for our low self-esteem and lack of confidence, right? Right? Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for taking another journey with us outside the Matrix.